Hi everyone, my name is Alton Stalker, and I'm an engineer on the NX Cloud platform. There's been a lot of awesome announcements in the previous talks, so I hope I'm able to keep everyone's interest. Rather than talk about changes coming to all of NX or all of NX Cloud, like we've seen so far with NextGen NX or the release of NX Agents, let's narrow our focus in a bit. We believe that as a part of those two changes, E2E tests are now solved for NX Cloud users. Now, solved is a bold claim to make. That means that us here at NX and the wider developer community must see large problems in the ecosystem that aren't addressed by existing tools. And let's face it, while the experience of authoring E2E tests has been markedly improved in the past few years with tools like Cypress and Playwright coming into the picture, running these tests can still be a painful experience, especially as your organization scales. The cause of this pain can vary from organization to organization, but in general, we can break it down into three challenges. E2E tests are slow, so your team has to wait to verify their changes are safe, which hurts velocity and momentum. E2E tests are flaky, so retries of entire pipelines waste dev time and effort, and company money through wasted compute or wasted dev time. And third, Maintaining a pipeline that handles both of those is a lot of work, so organizations suffer from configuration rot that no one wants to take responsibility for. I'm happy to say that we have an answer for all of these that is ready for you to implement today. Now, after this grand introduction, I know that we have two types of people in the audience. Those who are already looking through our docs on nx.dev to get this enabled, and those who are still skeptical of my claims. Well, three kinds of people. We can't forget those who just started the stream and don't know what talk they've stumbled upon. In any case, I don't blame the skeptics. These are some lofty claims. Let's talk through what NX is doing differently to other tools that allows for these features. NX already takes a lot of steps to help ensure a fast experience in both local and CI environments. You may have already noticed how these help your CI times. The strategies taken differ a lot depending on where in NX you look. Consider affected. What's the fastest way to run E2E? -E? The fastest way to run your test suites is to not run them at all. Using NX as affected can shave minutes or hours off of pipelines for large projects by simply understanding what work actually needs to be done and cutting the rest. But what about caching? What's the fastest way to run E2E -E when that's available? Well. NX can replay our tasks output if we've already performed the work locally, but that doesn't help much in the context of a pipeline, where we'd expect to have ephemeral machines. Ah, oh, that's better. With NX replay, we can share the cache amongst our whole team instantly. Now our CI pipelines can theoretically take advantage of work done by our machines during the normal dev flow. And if you've been around NX or NX Cloud for the past few years, nothing I've said so far is earth shattering. Maybe it's not even interesting, so let's kick it up a notch. We heard earlier about inferred tasks, which arrived in NX18. This feature allows NX to dynamically create targets based on the different configuration files that already exist in your projects. These targets get all the same features we just talked about, use of affected, proper caching, and integration to NX Cloud with no extra config involved. Use V? Cool more of a Webpack person, that works as well. But what about for E2E -E testing tools? Are they supported? Well, on the previous slide, we saw the basic and definitely mathematically sound equation of config from popular tools plus NX equals runnable targets. But that's changed a bit. Now we have config from your favorite E2E -E tool plus NX equals magic. What kind of magic are we talking about? With our example here, we have a project called My Project with a Cypress configuration file in it named cypress.config.ts. With inferred targets, the presence of a Cypress or Playwright configuration creates not one, but two targets for you. Once NX has inferred targets for us, we now have the following available on our Cypress project. One target is named E2E, -E, a name that probably looks familiar if you're an experienced NX user already. This would run all of your E2E -E spec files as you would expect. The other target is named E2E -E CI, and it helps us achieve the magic. See, when I told you that two targets were created, 
it was a bit of a lie. There's no technical limit to the number of targets that can be generated on the fly, and we can use that to our advantage. Using NX's task pipelines and depends on, we can effectively turn E to ECI into a wrapper target that depends on the execution of all the individual spec files for a given project. This means that we can run each spec file in isolation as its own task. This by itself isn't a big deal. Playwright has allowed you to manually shard your tests for a while now. Where the real power comes in is from NX Cloud's distribution engine. With inferred targets and NX agents, the total runtime of your E to E tests can be bound by your single largest spec, rather than the combined runtime of all tests in a given domain. That means the ideal case for this project would be a total perceived runtime of two minutes, since that is our longest running spec. But what's even cooler about this is the flexibility it gives your team as you scale. We've added a large new feature, but the impact on our pipeline is much smaller. We've only added a minute of perceived duration, two minutes maximum to three minutes maximum per spec, instead of three total minutes for a monolithic E to E task. And adding additional specs might not impact our perceived time at all. Whereas with a monolithic target, we've now doubled our original runtime. There's been no additional maintenance, no additional configuration, and no mental overhead to achieve this. Simply swap your E to E target for the new E to E CI one. So with that, the duration issue of E to E tests is solved, and we started to crack away at the maintenance burden. Not bad for something that can ex be explained in a few minutes. But it doesn't actually matter whether my tests only take three minutes if I constantly need to check to make sure they actually passed. Flakiness in E2E tests is the bane of my existence. Your PR has been approved, you've fixed existing tests, and maybe even added new ones if you're a role model, and what are you rewarded with? A failure, because some element didn't appear in the DOM in time. The result of your test being contingent on a virtual coin flip isn't a situation that any team strives for, but it's sometimes an inevitability. Bugs happen in tests, services can be slower degraded, and things just don't go to plan. How can NX Cloud help here? Well, if you're a member of a team afflicted with flaky tests, you're probably bracing yourself every time you see that project in your affected graph. Fortunately, you aren't the only one who is aware of flaky tasks now. NX Cloud will now detect flaky tasks for you automatically while you are running your commands. This means while a distribution is occurring, NX Cloud is able to separate your tasks into two categories, flaky and non-flaky. How is it capable of doing this? Well, tasks in NX have three main parts, an identifier, which is normally comprised of your project name, the name of your target, and a configuration when specified, a hash, which is computed by NX based on the inputs you set in your target defaults or project JSON, and an exit code, so NX Cloud can tell whether your task succeeded or failed. All of this information is recorded for every task in every run that ever crosses NX Cloud. So how can we use this to detect task flakiness? Well, let's say I've run my task in CI. NX Cloud becomes aware of a task with identifier my project E to E a hash of 1234ABC, and a status code of 1. Now, since I've worked in this project for a while, I know this was a flake, but NX Cloud needs more evidence before it can say for sure that this task is flaky. So let's give it another try. On run 2, what do we end up with? We have the same project identifier of my project E to E, and the same hash of 1234ABC, but this time we get a status code of 0. Our tests pass. Now that we've received two different status codes for the same hash, NX Cloud has detected that this task is flaky. What does this mean for future runs? Let's picture a distribution run that uses three agents. We have a few tasks that we want to run. Big project E to E, small project E to E, and the newly detected flaky project E to E. Now all of these can be assigned out to agents. And as we watch the pipeline progress, agents are working hard. Eventually, our tests complete, first with small project EDE, and then big project EDE. But what's this? Flaky project EDE failed? We should have expected this. We named the project Flaky Project, after all. 
So what happens here? Is our pipeline failed with our only hope being a rerun? Not anymore. Because NX Cloud is aware that this task may flake, it will do the following. The failed attempt of flaky project EDE may still be important, so we'll log it as an attempt. We will also add a fresh copy of flaky project EDE back to our available task list, where it can be picked up by a different agent. Now, agent 1 will try to run flaky project EDE. Why a different agent? Well, there are many factors that could influence a task to flake, so we try to provide as fresh of an environment as possible when rerunning to rule out any influence a particular machine may have. And now, Flaky Project EDE is successful. NX Cloud just saved me a manual rerun, which would have caused a lot of frustration, as well as a bunch of time lost to reinstalling node modules, setting up my pipelines, and pulling cache hits for tasks we already knew would succeed. And what's cooler about this feature? Although the focus of this talk has been E2E -E tasks, I'm happy to say that flakiness detection works for all targets. NX Cloud paired with distribution can help any project overcome flakes. So far, everything I've told you has been theoretical with accompanying slides. Let's see how we can get test splitting and flaky task retries working in practice. Let's walk through the fastest way to get started with these features. To do that, First, I'll create a new workspace with npx create nx workspace at latest. I'll call the workspace launch nx. I'll use React as my stack with no framework and an integrated mono repo. I'll call my first app app1, bundle it with Webpack, and set up my first E2E -E tests with Playwright. We want normal CSS, and finally, I want a GitHub Actions workflow generated and nx cloud enabled for me off the bat. Now we'll speed up npm install and get back into it. Now that that's finished, with the power of movie magic, let's show off some other changes I've made. To do this, we'll open up the NX graph and navigate to the tasks view. You'll notice that we now have seven apps instead of the one that we generated with Create NX Workspace. If I go to the target name dropdown and select E to ECI, we can see that NX is aware of a different seven E to E projects. And when I focus app one E to E, we can start to see inferred tasks in action. In addition to the E to ECI target that was selected, we can see all of our dependent tasks as well. For this demo, these are just sequentially numbered spec files with some dummy tests in each. Now let's get distribution set up. When we ran create NX workspace, we asked NX to generate us a GitHub Actions workflow file. Let's see what we ended up with. Here we have a ci.yaml file in the .github slash workflows folder. It's set up to trigger on push domain or pull requests has some permissions configured for a helper action to make affected work more easily, and most importantly, has a main job with this line commented out. Let's uncomment it first. This command calls the NX Cloud CLI and tells it to start a CI run. By passing distribute on 5 Linux medium JS, we are telling NX Cloud to create 5 agents to distribute across, each using our pre-made Linux medium JS image. But five agents seems kind of small for seven projects with 10 spec files each. How fast can we make this? Let's change that to 20 agents just for kicks. Before we commit and push this, it's important to note that use of NX agents requires a pro plan account on NX Cloud with an active version control integration. There's a generous trial available that I've activated for this demo, which is how we'll be running these agents. Check out our docs for how to get this set up. Time to push up and see E2E splitting in action. Before we show off the results of distribution, however, let's see what we are up against. When running all the projects and targets in our demo workspace, we can complete a CI run in just under 24 minutes on GitHub Actions. This isn't terrible compared to some pipelines, but we can do better. Let's see where we get with NX agents. With our 20 NX agents, we were able to take our pipeline down to just 3 minutes and 17 seconds in GitHub Actions. If we removed our npx playwright install step that ensures browsers are available for our E2E -E tests on the main job, we'd be at 3 minutes flat, almost an 8 times speed up with one line of change. Now, obviously, this example is a bit contrived for the purpose of a demo but these kinds of pipeline speed enhancements are not out of the reach of your projects. 
In addition to the speed improvements, we get several other benefits with a combination of NX agents and E to E splitting. While the distribution runs, we are able to see which tasks are assigned to which agent, how many tasks remain, and how many were pulled from the cache. This kind of observability mid-run is invaluable. We are also able to view logs for our individual agents by clicking these pills at the bottom of the CI Pipeline Execution Details screen. Once our run has completed, we can view logs from specific tasks one by one. This is particularly useful if you are trying to diagnose a failure or a flake. And finally, we can view the various attempts of tasks that NX Cloud has detected as flaky. In addition to viewing per attempt, we can also manually set a task as flaky or resolved to bypass the automated detection step we discussed earlier. I hope after learning about these features and seeing them in action briefly, you understand why we think we have solved E2E -E tests for NX Cloud users. No longer is test duration the bottleneck for your CI pipelines. No longer do test flakes ruin your mood or your CI budget from unnecessary reruns. And no longer does the upkeep of your E2E -E suite require extreme effort. These features are here today, live, and are ready to be used by your organization. And you can sign up today at cloud.nx.app. The NX and NX Cloud teams have both worked super hard to make all of this happen. So thank you, everyone, for watching and your continued support, and enjoy the rest of the stream. Have a great day.